World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Tooth Mobility Causes, Prevention, and Treatment Dental mobility can be physiological or pathological. Physiological is the natural movement that a tooth presents within a limit. It occurs more frequently in teeth with only one root. Instead, pathological mobility is diagnosed when the loose tooth presents a movement that exceeds the limit considered normal. Dentistry uses a scale to determine the degree of mobility and to facilitate diagnosing the treatment to follow. For this purpose, a four-level scale is used. Grade zero, it is considered normal physiological mobility. Grade one, horizontal movement is recorded between one millimeter or less. Grade two, there is a horizontal movement greater than one millimeter. Grade three, there is horizontal and vertical movement. The dental piece moves in different directions. Tooth mobility is a sign of advanced periodontal disease, also known as chronic periodontitis. This condition affects the tissues that provide support and stability to the teeth, such as the periodontal ligament and alveolar bone. Dental mobility can be the consequence of various circumstances, such as accidents and trauma, missing teeth, bruxism, tongue pressure, constant stressful situations, chronic periodontal disease, systemic diseases and their treatments, such as diabetes, cancer, and HIV, poor oral hygiene. Symptoms of tooth mobility include difficulty chewing food, longer appearing teeth due to receding gums, bad breath, and tooth sensitivity. Treatment of dental mobility. Treatment of tooth mobility depends upon the underlying cause and the severity of the problem. In some cases, tooth mobility can be treated simply by controlling the periodontal disease and eliminating the bacteria that cause inflammation. This is accomplished through a combination of professional cleanings, proper oral hygiene, and the use of antimicrobial mouthwashes. In severe cases, more advanced periodontal treatment may be necessary, such as periodontal surgery, which may include bone regeneration techniques to restore the supporting tissues of the teeth. In extreme cases, it may be necessary to extract the affected tooth and replace it with a denture. Prevention of tooth mobility. The best way to prevent tooth mobility is by preventing periodontal disease. This is accomplished through good oral hygiene, including regular brushing, flossing, and mouthwashes, along with regular visits to the dentist for professional cleanings and periodic exams. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.